Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising, and it's a weekly reading for the week April 1st to 7th. So Saggy, your cards this week are in the position of energies, leaving, completing or transitioning, Queen of Swords. Focus energies this week are the Three of Swords and the Four of Cups. Coming in towards the end of the week, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. So Saggy, Recently, you have been seeing things clearly, cutting through to the truth and seeing things exactly how they are in a specific situation. So queen energy is in control, mature, compassionate, but above all things, clear. So it's a really great energy to be in because when the queen of swords energy is with you, you're not going to suffer any fools, you're not going to be under any illusion or delusion. You're really willing to face the facts and see a situation for exactly how it is rather than how someone else may want you to see it or perceive it. Now this week you've got the Three of Swords clarified with the Four of Cups. So the three of swords you know, could indicate it could indicate a relationship breakdown. Now the three of swords is a card of you know grief or heartbreak or sorrow. So it doesn't necessarily say that it's definitely a a relationship situation, but it's a situation that you are grieving over. Um, you're feeling a sense of loss. So you know it could be you know losing a um, you know, important job or having a fallout with a colleague or a family member or a relationship ending, all that sort of thing. Now, I clarified that with the Four of Cups, which indicates to me that the reason why this situation broke down is that you didn't actually want it. It was you that chose to um, object the situ sorry, reject the situation uh, and reevaluate um, re your future. So you can see the, you know, the, the character in the card is clearly being offered a cup, like, you know, offered love or, you know, offered something in the situation. And there's that sense of apathy or just being completely over it, you know, actually ready to move on. So I feel that, like, even though you are feeling those sense of, you know, sadness and grief and loss, it was actually your decision to move on from this and whether you were the one to actually say, hey, you know, I'm out or whether you sort of like set it up so that the other person would leave or the situation would in some way, um, you know, naturally fall away. Um, but I think after seeing things for what they really were, you know, it made you want to withdraw from the situation, but it doesn't mean that it still doesn't hurt to move on from the situation. There's still a sense of loss or grief, but that will pass. And I think it's definitely an indicator that it will pass because you actually have the Wheel of Fortune coming in towards the end of the week. So in this reading, it could indicate uh, two things. Like one, it could indicate that the reason why you decided to reject the situation or withdraw from it is that it wasn't the right time for you. There's a timing issue involved with the situation. Or it could indicate that your luck is about to turn and change, which is pretty exciting because it looks like, you know, you have that really decided to remove yourself from something and it would be great if a new chapter started and absolutely with the Wheel of Fortune there, it's it's a karmic beginning. So the situation was probably destined, it needed to happen, but it's time for that to close and um, for you to move on to something else, new life lessons. So the Wheel of Fortune um, is said to have a 10 year energy, so it's quite a significant transition that you'll be going through. Now the um, Six of Swords uh, came out with the Wheel of Fortune, so that indicates that um, you will be moving on, you'll be making this necessary rite of passage. So you know, even though you may not have wanted all the situation to come to an end, it had to, it was destined, and now you know you need to move on. You need to move on from this, these turbulent emotions and sail into a much calmer future. I think when the Six of Swords comes into a reading, there's that reminder to not take your baggage with you. You need to release yourself from it. Release yourself from the grief, grief and sadness. I mean, it's still okay to feel it uh, at the start. You know, you're, it's a natural part of it, but try not to hang on in those emotions for too long. 
get those swords out of your boat and carry on with an empty vessel into your new start because that's going to give you the best possible um, new beginning which is absolutely here waiting for you. So I think that's an absolutely exciting uh, end to the situation that you do have this strong destined new beginning waiting to back it up. So I feel like this is the right thing that it's come to completion. So Saji, not necessarily an easy week, but it's all predestined, it's all meant to be. Hang in there, try not to hold on into those grief and sadness feelings. Try not to take your baggage with you, release, let go, move on because you've got an amazing new beginning right on that horizon. So good luck with that Saji. Um, feel free to comment on this video if it resonated for you, keeping in mind General readings don't resonate for everyone, but this will be for some of you out there and you'll know who you are. Thanks Sagittarius, we'll see you next week.